Hi and welcome to my second video in this series about carbohydrates and today we're going to look at some more monosaccharides and disaccharides. And so at the end of the last video we looked at a condensation reaction between two alpha glucoses which produces the disaccharide maltose and today we're going to look at some different types of monosaccharides and therefore disaccharides. So a type of, another type of monosaccharide is called fructose and again it's got the familiar OSE on the end of it so you can tell it's a sugar. Um, this one is slightly different as it's a pento sugar um, and you can see it only has um, five carbons. And what that can do is it can join um, with glucose and it forms the disaccharide um, sucrose. And so you can see again here you have the familiar bonding over the oxygen and therefore it produces a glycosidic bond. Now another type of monosaccharide is called galactose and a galactose, um, due to the shape you can see it's hexagonal, therefore a six carbon sugar and that can actually join to glucose um, and that forms the disaccharide lactose um, and so you might have heard of this before if individuals are um, lactose intolerant it means they cannot digest lactose um, and therefore they don't um, they have a irritable bowel or some form of reaction to that and you can see here um, that this forms a uh, 1 and 4 um, glycosidic bond again because this is carbon 1 and this is carbon 4. And so in summary, um, two alpha glu uh, glucoses joined together form the disaccharide maltose. Um, the polymer of alpha glucose is starch which we'll come on and look at in the next video. Um, alpha glucose and fructose, um, both of those are monosaccharides and they form the disaccharide sucrose and glucose and galactose um, Again, both monosaccharides go together to form the disaccharide lactose. Maltose, sucrose, lactose and starch all contain um, glycosidic bonds and glyco, um, or if you ever see the word glyco, it's very similar to glycogen, um, which is the storage molecule um, for alpha glucose in animals. Now most monosaccharides and disaccharides are especially useful because they can be quickly used. So particularly glucose can be quickly used in respiration, obviously it's one of the um, reactants in that. And also if you have um, stores of maltose um, or if you eat table sugar which is sucrose or any of the, you know, if you drink milk you can quickly break those disaccharides down into the monosaccharides and they can quickly be used for respiration and so they're a good energy source. So that's why you find um, high levels of sugars found within um, energy drinks and essentially chocolate bars because they'll provide a very quick boost of energy um, used in respiration. If you join me on the next video where I'll be looking at polysaccharides.